Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but us deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today the Church remembers William Tyndall, translator of the Scriptures. Born in Gloucestershire in about the year 1494, William Tyndall studied first at uh, Magdalen Hall, now Magdalen College, Oxford, and then at Cambridge. He became determined to translate the scriptures from the Greek directly into contemporary English, but was thwarted in this by the Bishop of London. So William settled in Hamburg in 1524, never returning to England. When the first copies of his translation arrived in England, in 1526, it was bitterly attacked as subversive by the ecclesial authorities. He spent much of the rest of his life making revisions to his work, but also writing many theological works. His life's work proved good enough to be the ba basic working text for those who, at the beginning of the following century, were to produ produce what became known as the authorised version of the Bible. He was eventually arrested in 1535 and imprisoned in Brussels on charges of heresy. He was first strangled and then burnt at the stake on this day in 1536. His last words were, Lord, open the King of England's eyes. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law, and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write all these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon the whole church, and so rule the heart of thy chosen servant, Charles, our King and Governor, that he, 
knowing whose minister he is, may above all things seek thy honour and glory, and that be on all his subjects, duly considering whose authority he hath, may faithfully serve, honour, and humbly obey him, in thee and for thee, according to thy blessed word and ordinance. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who within the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Lord, give to your people grace to hear and keep your word, that after the example of your servant William Tyndall, we may not only profess your gospel, but also be ready to suffer and die for it, to the honour of your name, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus will be persecuted, but wicked, wicked people and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving others and being deceived. But as for you, continue what you have learned, and firmly believe, knowing from who you have learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and it is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. Here endeth the epistle. Holy Gospel is written in the 17th chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 6th verse. Jesus said to his disciples, I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for our sake, for their sakes, I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. Thanks be to God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the eternal Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us and Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sit upon the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, 
his kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge our baptism for remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon the earth, where the rust and moth doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither rust nor moth doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break th through and steal.
upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son and our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in the news of life, to the honour and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very neat, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty and everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory to thee, O Lord Most High. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction 
for the sins of the whole world, and in institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given it, given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me.
which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost vouchsafe to feed us who have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are very members in corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of the most precious death and passion of thy dear Son. And we most humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as, as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and, and in earth peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, and Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only Christ with the Holy Ghost, art the Most High, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.